Hey, uh, Shalom, uh, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai. All praise unto Yahweh, Shem Yahshai, Shem Yahkadash, double honors unto the apostles of great millstone, and honest you brothers to be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. So this here is going to be a relatively quick video, and um, what I wanted to do in this, in this particular video is use this... Um, a uh, few scenes that I've seen from these TV programs and beware there's going to be a little bit of spoilers here um, in this TV program uh, called The Vikings that I'm going to be speaking about in a second. So um, in terms of um, spoilers, you've been warned. Okay, you've been warned. Uh, but this uh, TV program it was a good TV program, especially the first four seasons. I haven't seen the recent episodes. And there's a particular statement that is made at the beginning of the um of the TV program concerning the main character, which was Ragnar Lothbrok, and they said it was said unto him, uh, pretty much that uh, you know he was gonna uh, die when the blind man sees, and invariably he does die when the blind man sees. Now, why is that relevant? Because he did everything that he could possibly do to not end up where he ended up, and this becomes important to me. In terms of um, being able to visualize uh, Esau's nature or tendency or his his um, tenacity, his 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 desires, um, for me it becomes a visual expression of how Esau, uh, the nation of Esau, Edom, move around within the earth, trying to disrupt the prophecies concerning them. They move around within the earth, trying to be anything other than what the scripture says that it was going to be. And that's the people with whom the Mosai was going to destroy. They set up these different uh, programs out there um, to, 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 to um, help out their so-called New World Order. All right? And I suppose that this is, that's going to be a good scripture to start on within the book of Job, the 15th chapter. I think it's about the 5th verse, Job 15. But they go around putting these programs within the earth and um they try to establish their so-called new world order they try to uh, they try to run away from the judgment that the heavenly father has written out for them and what you're going to see within these scriptures that is that the heavenly father's got their um destiny already laid out all right the bible says as we're going to see the word of the heavenly father is likened unto a strong archer um releasing an arrow all right who's going to be the individual that's going to be able to turn it back. It's not going to be able to be turned back onto the Heavenly Father. Okay? He sent his word out there. It shall not go. It shall not return unto him void. That's a good scripture to start off on. And then we go into the book of Job. Where the Heavenly Father said Esau was going to go through these particular events of ruling the world. And ruling the world in wickedness. And ultimately, um, he was going to be destroyed. Now, they could have it to where they got Planned Parenthood. They could have it to where... They got this um, destructive move, move, uh, music out there amidst the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But it's still not going to work, man. All right? That's all playing into the prophecies of the Heavenly Father. They could have it to where Jake kills themselves via uh, whatever means. And it will still not be anything other than what the prophecy says it was going to be. You got to understand that the Heavenly Father is in control of every single facet within the world, man. He is in control of every single element within the world, right? That's why he's, that's why he's the most high. He's above everything. He created everything for his own pleasure. And there is nothing that's beyond his control. And so Esau tries to, you know, through his pride, that's why we can go to the book of Obadiah. The scripture says how that the pride of Esau has deceived him because he actually thinks that he's going to be able to stop the word the heavenly father he thinks he's going to be able to fight against the angels of the heavenly father and and prevail right that's what he thinks he thinks he's going to be able to fight uh and, and destroy the men of the lord and prevail he thinks he's going to be able to take the truth away from the earth in the name of the heavenly father the son yahweh shai and the heavenly father yahweh away from the earth but all his endeavors have only gone to solidify the prophecies that were said before time and we have to understand about the word prophecy it's almost a determinist um, um, idea, okay? It's almost a deterministic point of view. 
the word prophecy because you're saying that no matter what you do, this is what's going to happen. So it eradicates the idea of free will. You cannot have free will and prophecy. Okay, prophecy and free will are contradictory statements to each other because if you have free will, then you'll be able to avert the prophecies that were uh, said against you. Now, the natural uh, retaliation to that should be what? What about Nineveh? Well, guess what? It was within the Heavenly Father's will that Nineveh was going to be given mercy. Was it Nineveh where Jonah went and he prophesied and the Mosai prolonged them for a short season? That was all within the Heavenly Father's plan. That wasn't outside of his plan. It was within his plan that they was going to repent. He just didn't make it known unto his men. But he's made it known unto us the exact reality that Esau is going to be enduring within the times that we're going to be getting into. He it is they're going to fail with their so-called New World Order attempt. They're going to succeed in some parts, but essentially they're going to fail because the whole world idea about the New World Order is that they was going to be in power forever. And they're not going to be in power forever. They're going to have it. They was going to get to a point where the Mosai said, that's it. Your time is done. The people, the children of Israel are going to be risen up. And we're in those times, man. That's why Esau's moving very greasy. He's moving very rapidly. He's moving very erratically. Okay, to take the truth away from the world. To take the men of, uh, men of the Lord out, out from the streets. And uh, to um, to set up his so-called new world order. But the reality of the situation is that what? That the Heavenly Father's word has already gone out there, man. He wasn't going to return unto him void. And in these efforts... To take away the truth from the earth in his efforts to destroy the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, pursuant to the book of Psalms, the 83rd chapter, how did the, the heathen take uh, crafty counsel against the anointed, which is the children of the Heavenly Father? All right. Once all, even though that's all playing out, even though he's sort of doing all of that, and then he, he makes his moves and makes it hard to push this word out there, it was going to be like pushing against the brick. The brick only pushes you back harder, man. The harder you push, the harder the brick pushes, man. All right? The more side deals with balance. The harder Esau pushes against this, uh, uh, pushes forward with it on the left-hand side, the more the Heavenly Father was going to have it to where the right hand was going to push and subsequently prevail. The book of Isaiah 55 and 11, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. Void meaning empty, vainly. Okay, and, 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 and that's an important idea to understand. I was speaking to my brother about this. You can't be a man out there with, with vain words, man. You're going to say and do what you say. You know, back in the day, men was uh, uh, a man of honor was, was a man who was all about his um, uh, 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 making his words um, uh, uh, of a truth. All right? And that's how the Heavenly Father is. And we are image, we are an image unto the Heavenly Father. Man. Okay, so the Heavenly Father's word has come out there. But he wasn't going to return back onto him void, okay? Empty. Well, he, was, he wasn't speaking vain words. When he said Eden was going to be destroyed, Eden was, you know, Eden was going to be destroyed, man. <laughs> uh, but it shall accomplish. What do you call an accomplishment? Oh, I set out to build a house with, uh, you know, a staircase for five stories. And I built it. It was beautiful. No, a stair let's make it spiritual. A staircase for two stories. And uh, the thing was beautiful. And that's how the Mosai set it up, man. He, he said this is what's going to happen with a dis deterministic approach. And it happened, man. All right. A predestined approach. And the thing was accomplished. Uh, uh, that which, uh, uh, But it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. All right. Next precept. We said we were going to go into the book of Job. Uh, Job 15. That's what it was uh, in here. Let's put that word crafty in there. My memory is not the best, but hopefully I get the job done. Uh, Job 5 and 12, he says, it says, He disappointeth the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Job 15 and 5, that's it. Is that the one I was looking for? For thy mouth... Uttereth thine iniquity, and thou choosest. Now that's not the one. Uh, but I was looking for that word. There, there's that word crafty in there as well. 
Job 5 and 12 is what I wanted. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that the hands cannot perform their enterprise. So they're trying to establish their so-called new world order and they was going to fail in it because ultimately the Bible says that they was going to fail. Where does it say they was going to fail? The book of Job, the 20th chapter. And let's read. Really, the whole thing speaks about Esau. <laughs> you can read that and really get um get a feel of how the Mosai set Esau up, man. He had it to where he was going to do all of these things within the earth, come up with these technologies, but yeah, he was going to perish forever like his own dunk. Though his excellence, he was going to mount up onto the heavens. He was still going to be brought down. He was going to fly away as the vision of a night. Continuing here, I want to go to... I don't know why. I'm looking for something, but it's in the middle, not at the beginning. It's in, it's in the middle of a verse. Bear with me. Yeah, here we go. So we can read from... Yeah, let's read 22. Job 20 and 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency shall he be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall be upon him. And that's dealing with the World's War Three, And also to... Oh uh, yeah, that's dealing with the, the World's War Two. So... You have a situation where Esau's Esau Edom is ramping up the agenda towards a, a chipped, um, not a cashless society, right? They're ramping up the agenda towards a chip, a chipped cashless society, right? Everybody's got a chip, and it's a cashless society, right? And um, um, the reality of the situation is that as he gets more efficient and proficient in setting that up. He was going to find uh, difficulties. Things were going to start. The so-called control that he had, he thought he had, the grip of control that he thought he had, is going to start slipping, okay? And so too, where uh, you had it to where these nations were in cahoots with him, you're going to see that they're going to stop, they're going to stop, um, they're going to stop being in cahoots with him. They're going to retaliate, man. Particular deals that were made were going to start getting reneged. I don't know if that's a correct uh, pronunciation of that word, but people are gonna people people were gonna be turning away against the America and and Eden, man, and it was gonna ultimately go towards World Three. Okay, so in the fullness of his sufficiency, shall be he be in straits? He was gonna be in difficulties, and not only that, when all of these things are happening, then you got it to where the men of the Lord, what they've been saying for a long time, is gonna be coming to pass, and as a result, people are gonna be waking up to this truth, man. Okay. Uh, so let's go to the um, another precept, and then we go into the judgment of Esau that he cannot, he can't leave, man. You, I mean, you can't, you can't leave that judgment. That's the judgment that was set up for you. Isaiah forty six and ten. Okay, so Isaiah forty six and nine says, "Remember the former things of old, for I am the Mosai; there is none else." I am the Mosai, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning. The end of Esau. Let's go to the end of Esau. Obadiah. Uh, Obadiah 18. And the house of Jacob, which is the Israelites, shall be a fire. And this is the fire that's been risen amongst us amongst the brethren right now you can see brothers getting into the word heavy understanding the scriptures getting into the prophecies getting into all of these things that make up the culture of the children of israel man right and um you know where the fire is you know the fire is rising okay but the the fire that was east or the fire on the left hand side is dwindling man all right there was a time when this guy was bringing out a new technology every 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 day man you know, now the phones are pretty much the same every 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 year. All right. Uh, the laptops are nearly the same every year. OK, the movies he's making, he's got to go out there and refresh them. He ain't he ain't got no more new fresh ideas. 
because his his fire his uh, appeal is going downhill pretty much right about the seventies ESO started going downhill prior to the seventies they had gold backed currencies they were doing all right okay right but through the intervention the spiritual intervention of the heavenly father ESO is going down now man so the house of Jacob shall be a fire and the house of ESO shall be a flame. And the house of Esau shall be for stubble, and they shall kindle in them, and they shall devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, uh, the Lord has spoken this. So they could try to avert this judgment that the Heavenly Father has put upon them, but it's not going to happen, man. All right? Declaring the end of, declaring the end from the beginning and from the ancient times, the things that I had not yet done, saying my counsel shall stand, and I'll do all my pleasure. And it is the pleasure that the of the Lord that uh, Esau can try to set up all of these things that he's going to try to set up, but ultimately he's not going to be able to set it up. So that's it, man. Uh, with that, I'm going to say, all praise on to you, Abba Shema, Abba Shema, Kaka, Dash, Double Honours, on to the Apostles of Great Millstone, and all of you brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.